Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we got Fisheye starting as the purple Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we've got Monk starting as the midnight blue Protoss. I kind of like this color palette, so we're going to stick with it. This is going to be on Vermeer. Four player map, again, could be macro oriented, but I'm going to say that it uh, looks like there is some chatter ahead of time. Fisheye not playing his best, I have to say, in the previous match. Monk catching him in the midst of DT play. I think, again, Fisheye's strength is just going for more heads-up style builds, two-gate robotics or even uh, three-gate robo styles. Usually two-gate robos, it sets the bread and butter of Protoss openers, right? So I'd like to see him maneuver towards that. It's clear that he can out-macro Monk if he gets into a longer-term macro match. He just has to avoid the shenanigans and make sure he keeps up with the scouting patterns and whatnot, because Monk, again, <laughs> I mean, this is showing some... Gauss-like. I'm not sure if I want to say monk-like or gauss-like if you guys caught the previous rounds of games because that was some that was some ultra Protoss shenanigans, I have to say. That was the most Protoss Hasa League series I think I've ever cast. You know, and I mean that in the most positive sense possible. Fisheye dropping that gateway. It looks like he's going to do the gateway scout once again. That is going to give monk initial advantages. So that, that probe isn't mining. It's still sitting into that. Okay, it's going to go a two-gate opener. We're seeing the, not even a 9-10 gate, we're seeing a 9-9 gate out of Monk. So he wants to play aggressively. Unfortunately for Fisheye, he is scouting the wrong direction. He's scouting upper right-hand corner first. Let's see if he drops an assimilator or if he's going to go for it. So this is basically a more macro solid version of the same thing with the 10-12 gate from Fisheye. So the Zealots will come out earlier from Monk, but... There will be a stronger backing economy by slight margins for Fisheye. Cross map scout, checking the middle of the map for Monk. Let's see if we see a follow-up cross map scout from Fisheye. Initial Zelt's being constructed, but point being Fisheye, if he recognizes the scenario, all he has to do is hold and he'll be fine. He can just build the initial handful of Zelt's and then it'll be up to scouting information, scouting patterns after that. Another probe moving out, so that's two probes down for Monk, which are going to compound the economic issues. First Zealot on the ramp, two more Zealots being constructed. The one advantage Monk might have is if he can run that Zealot back to the ramp in time to block the scout, or if he can follow it up with another scout blockade, probe making its way up, going to find that first Zealot. It's going to get taken out. However, keep in mind, Fisheye still in the dark. As he's moving in what could potentially be the fourth and the fifth, he has dropped an assimilator behind this. Units scattered all over the map for him. Zealots making their way top left. Zealots moving out of the base should be an indicator to Fisheye. He's going to walk in. He's going to see two gates and Zealots making the way out. So that should queue up two additional Zealots for him. Looks like he's dropped the cybernetic score. Looks like he's still going to try to play it with this defense. He's going to have to pull probes potentially or drop a shield battery. Monk still trying to push it in though. Fisheye holding, getting some engaging, wanting to thin the troops out. A follow-up. Looks like some probes battling here to the south. I'm going to watch that instead of the front. Because I like to. One probe pulled off the line. That should be sufficient. To oh, never mind. Probe sneak through. Fisheye having some trouble once again. And he didn't build follow-up units. Oh, maybe throwing it away. So now it is going to be Zealots in the main. However, additional Zealots haven't been fielded across the map, but this could be, if the Zealots can get to the probe line, a general win for Monk. And it looks like he's just going to have, yeah, it's three on one right this second. These two Zealots flying all over the place. Two Dragoons being built, but the probe damage is going to be the big question in the meantime. A shield battery being dropped in the main as Fisheye in emergency mode didn't read the situation properly and do due diligence in building defense units. So now probe's trying to a nice wow that was actually a great probe drill to keep it alive but two zelts still remain a decent amount of economic damage wrought fisheye still up two workers the dragoons now working on the zealot line the probes again pulling off and at the end it looks like fisheye still going to have the one worker lead and the dragoon lead is everything holds it looks like Monk actually dropping a Nexus behind that. That's maybe a little bit greedy. And a third gateway. He is upgrading range. And that is going to be done ahead of time. But Fisheye moving towards the front, getting aggressive himself, is going to be able to spot this. So 
theoretically momentarily, Monk will have superior production. Not sure what the follow-up is going to be from Fisheye. Fisheye currently again with that worker lead. Probe getting chased down, and actually that's going to be critical moments here. Two Dragoons versus Two Dragoons. First shot for Monk, and that is going to push Fisheye out of the natural expansion, so he's also not going to get that critical bit of scouting information to know what his follow-up should be. So that next is, going to, is already online for Monk, saturating it immediately. He's still down workers, but he's going to be up supply off those three gateways. Robotics facility being dropped from Fisheye instead. Let's see if he goes Robo to Observatory before going for a Nexus here. He has five Dragoons now. Let's see if he actually d utilizes the five Dragoons to engage the natural expansion that will be at a defensive deficit as it approaches, though. And I think Monk is just going to get a huge leap of a lead right here because of this follow-up. Engaging again, first shots on that forward Dragoon. I don't know if Fisheye was able to confirm the natural expansion or not. I think he might have been. I think there was a the range differential in that fight, so had to back off. So robotics facilities up. Fisheye needs to go robo, otherwise that is going to be GG. Let's see if he in fact drops it though, and it's going to have to be some solid reaver play, because otherwise he's just going to be his economy is going to be outmatched. Robotics support bay is constructed. Cycling back, that is a slew of dragoons on the front. Assimilator being warped in, and monk. Now takes the economic lead, has three gateways worth of production, does need to equalize things somewhat quickly to negate the reaver advantage, and that probe able to sneak, is he going to be able to get the scout? He's going to be able to walk in and see the scout, sees the shuttle up, so knows what he's up against. Probe gets the kill, though. It's a follow-up, and a big dedication on the front from Fisheye. Sacrificing a single Dragoon to stave off the rest of that attack force. Pylon blockaded at the third, if there's going to be a quick flip around. Pylons everywhere out in the map for Monk to go ahead and make sure that a ninja expansion wasn't grabbed. I think he was, he learned his lessons from the previous match. So Fisheye, even on Dragoons, is going to come down to Reaver Micro and really his ability to protect this shuttle. Fourth gateway dropped. Monk, if he moves some Dragoons out, just pulls them out towards a corner and has two pockets of them where he can then close on that shuttle, it is going to be very difficult for Fisheye to defend and win this match. Reaver in the grouping. Nilsi actually saving up for yet another expansion, it looks like, practically. Take that back. He's got five gateways. Continuous Dragoon production. You can see him positioning the Dragoons to the corner. Pylons dropped to go ahead and provide vision. Dragoons waiting for a counter drop, potentially. Fisheye in a defensive stance. So not moving out with that Reaver as well. And that is very likely going to cost him the match as he's five supply down already, and that is just going to grow. Another pylon at three o'clock. Really incredible pylon distribution. A Dragoon vertical line here to engage. Otherwise, maybe waiting for that second Reaver to have a solid duet, but that is just allowing that Dragoon count to surge behind this. I think actually maybe going for it Fisher is a much better player than me, so don't quote me on this, but I really do feel like having going for the earlier play might have been the better play overall. Fisheye is all in at this stage, needs to attack, have the Reavers alongside and get a fantastic engagement. Monk with a pretty decent spread. You can see yeah, he's grouping up those Dragoons to the right so he can get the envelopment. Also, the Dragoons are coming in in a line as they're meeting Monk's forward line. Looks like they're going to have initial advantage. Units fanning out from all directions. And the Reaver is still not engaging. Now the Reavers finally drop. They are going to be able to hit that pocket line, but very exposed along the rear. Yeah, taking damage, complete envelopment. Great play from Monk. Two games up. We're just seeing sweeps left and right, I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are going to move on to game three. Thank you for listening.